Welcome back to Area DMG. I'm your host, Philip Wesley, the Mile High Mouth, and today we're going to play a game called uh, Delicious Pretty Girls Mahjong Solitaire from, uh, I think, East Asia Soft. I actually tried playing this a little bit earlier because I wanted to make sure it was something that was, like, not too, uh, you know? Enter mode. Go to options. Now, I do want to feel that music a little bit. There we go. That music's kind of... Mm. Oh, there's two modes. There's the normal mode, which has a time limit thing. And then the easy mode, which has a um, hint and shuffle. Because essentially this is a match tiles game. And unfortunately, because of the way it's put together, it's a little bit... Um, I think the best way to put it would be that it's uh, it's possible for you to lose where the last two pieces are stacked on each other. And there's a bunch of these, and we're not going to go too far into these. Um, so I've completed a couple of the stages, and I'm just going to show like a little bit of how this works. Um, I haven't checked it out with a, um, I haven't checked it, I uh, checked it handheld yet, but the basic idea is that you're essentially matching these images together, like, like, matching dominoes or whatnot, and the idea is to clear the board. Now, if something is on the, like, between different tiles, you can't do anything with it. See, like this. Boop. It has to have like, it has to have a free side to it. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what this character is saying. Although I have to say that some of the characters sound like they're mad at you when they're talking. Which is weird. <laughs> I'm sure that's something somewhere. Hmm. <laughs> I've never been one of those people who's like, ooh, they're talking mean at me. I find that just more annoying than anything else. There we go. Uh, that's what the easy mode has. It's got like shuffle and hints. You go through three rounds, and in the third round, there's like a little effect where their costume is revealed. You would think with like I'm pretty sure that there's a version of this that's on Steam that's a little bit more risque. Or risque? Risk? R I S Q U E. Risque. Huh. You can also get hints, but we don't need those. <laughs> hmm. I'll do so from that one. How am I use. Hmm. That one for that one. <laughs> There's like no penalty for losing or not getting it in the first try. So you just kind of like match tiles. It's more or less it feels a little bit like uh, busy work is the best way to put it. Yep. Busy work. Hmm. hmm. I need this one. I see him over here. Oh, let's do this. <laughs> so that music's pretty happy. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, so I need this one. I need to... Oh, there we go. Oh, if you run out of usable moves, it'll end. It'll be like, oh, no usable moves. Maybe I'll try one of the harder levels or something, and we'll get that. 
so I can show it. Good. Generally, this is kind of easy, kind of simple. As you go further on it, though, they do get more complex, but eh, generally, this is the gist of the gameplay. We're going to play through. Um, oh. Well, I hope one of those is. Oh, good. Whew. Hmm, let's take that one out. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you flatten the board. Mm, by flattening the board, you do that. Oh, and if you're doing it in the normal mode, it will give you bonus points and keep track of points. For an easy mode, you can shuffle and hint, and it's just for clearing it. But if you're playing it in the normal hard mode, then it gives you points, and those points have a leaderboard. So there's more of a point to play through it with that. Hmm, well those are good. This is more or less if you just want to clear the levels and unlock all the little costumes. Mm -hmm. We know you. We know what you're here for. In you. <laughs> she sounds so nervous that I'm doing that. Somewhere, somewhere, it's just like, that's the point. Very creepily. Mm hmm. Music's pretty good, though. <laughs> and once we get down to a certain point, it's when we'll start doing the little special effects. Oh. How did I not see those? I <laughs> know there's people who are just probably like yelling at the screen. It's like, don't you see that match? And I'm like, I do? see what kind of um, costume we unlock. Well, I think it's kind of funny with it though, in some of these, is like there's a couple of them where the costume is kind of cosplay oriented or maid oriented, so you're actually, as little things going down, they're putting on more clothes. <laughs> Which to me is pretty funny in this, in this regard. It's like, like, you had one job, game. You had one job. That's it. Yeah. It's... It's a time killer type thing. <laughs> he sounds truly distressed to be wearing more clothes. Hmm, uh oh. Oh. You see this right here? Um, well actually I can probably do it. Those are those will work. Okay, let's do these. For a second there I was a little worried. But I thought, nope, I can do it. Yeah, because sometimes it might be possible for like things to be in there. That's why you have that shuffle option. Clear. <laughs> Some of these are kind of a little scanty, is the best way to put it. Whoop! Uh, let's go to see you. And here there's these things. See, this is why I said like wearing more clothes. <laughs> Yep. There are these two characters over here, which I think you have to, um, you have to complete the other ones to get that. Oh, and there's this weird little thing that reminds me of those little Kisaki, or Kisake doll sets they used to sell. They're like an LHC. Boop. There she is creeping in here. Boop. I don't think you can change that background. Oh, wait, wait, did, did she just slide on her own? Wait, wait, she's got momentum. What are these things in the back? 
They look like little porcelain cats. And here we go, mostly books. Books about overthrowing the establishment. Perfume on smaller things. This is this is how you arrange a room if you don't have pets. And nothing else that doesn't really do anything. Oh, wait, yeah. And then just a little bit of the directions. The music is from something called Altelier Amaka and Musmus and Dova Syndrome and whatever that is. And there's the font. But yeah, this is mm -mm, delicious because it has a um, exclamation point. Pretty Girls Mahjong Solitaire. This was provided by East Asia Soft. I think it's East Asia Soft. Let me check. East Asia Soft, manufacturers of truly um, exquisite but possibly embarrassing games. I love you guys. You guys have the best taste. <laughs> but yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think. Hit that thumbs up, the share button, the subscribe button. Ring that little bell so you're notified whenever we have a brand new video here on Airy DMG. And until the next video comes out, you are now caught up. Morning, Maya.